Hi friends and welcome back to a new video. So today I want to talk about this paint by numbers that I will now continue and hopefully finish in the next few weeks. Um, as you know I've stopped uh, working on this canvas and started a new one, the one that I just finished uh, with the spring flowers uh, at the 1st of April. Because I did this challenge that in April I wanted to finish um, one paint by numbers um, together with you guys. So normally I don't abandon any kits, so this is new for me as well, trying to go back to it. I am using more water now and mix it a little bit in before I start painting because some of these colors were already quite thick and I think they might have dried a bit or it's just nice to revive them with a little bit of water. So I made sure that I have a clean pot of water to add to each of the pots once I open them. And the way I do that is just adding a few drips from my uh, brush into the pot. And then I use the brush to stir it. But I know you guys have suggested using toothpicks, which is really useful. Um, I just don't couldn't find any in the one in the house, so I need to go to the store and get some, because yeah, it does get all up the brush, and it's, I I definitely can tell that toothbrush would be easier to stir the pots with after you add a little bit of water. As you can see today, I went in with the big brush that comes with the kit, and are doing these snowy. Um, areas up here so I'm going I'm working my way uh, down to the bottom from left to right um, and this was very pleasant to paint because they're really big areas <laughs> after my last kit, last kit with so many small areas it's nice to be able to just go with the big one and also because all these colors are very similar and light um, it was like I definitely do my technique of going on top of the lines um, to make sure that they're completely gone or try to get them um, less visible as possible. Um, so yeah, it just that also allows for using the big brush. You don't have to be as precise because you're just going over the lines anyway with one color and then the other color. Like, this is supposed to be snow and very fluidy, so I don't stick to the lines very much. Of course, I do use them as a guideline, but um, I don't think it has to be super precise, this part. Um, another thing, now that I noticed coming back to this kit, is that I didn't label the pots. Which, maybe I should have, but I did remember that I put them all on order, so from the top left, like I put them all in this nice tray and then I put them in order. So the top left in the tray is number one, then I go horizontally to the end is number eight and then um, above number one is number nine and so on. I do have a few pots that are laying next to me because <laughs> um, I haven't had to do much painting with them. And I do still have the reference sheet, it's not um, in the video, but I still have it laying around somewhere. I should look it up actually, so I can fill in the remaining pots, um, in case I get confused. But so far I've been able to know which numbers which due to the system that I set up um, when I was first painting this paint by numbers. Which means the system wasn't bad, right? If you are be able to go back to it after more than a month and still remember what is what. Um, so quite pleased with that, that it didn't make my life easier going back to it now. So I could recommend it to all of you. Now the big question if I'm excited to go back to this paint by numbers and why I am going back. Um, 
excited? Maybe not the most. I would be more excited to start a new one. But I do firmly believe that I want to finish it. So I am going back, or I am already painting back on it now. Because I just want to, whenever I start a paint by numbers, I want to finish it. I don't like the idea of having unfinished projects. You know, I already put so much time and effort into it, and I like it. I definitely like it, so I want to finish it. And we're almost there, right? We're more than halfway, so it's not that I only just started and really thought the colors were off or the paint or something that's completely off with this paint by numbers. So, I guess that's not the case. It's just that. Uh, for YouTube, I wanted to do another painting in between. That's why I feel strongly finishing it. Um, even though I started this paint by numbers um, back in January when there was snow and stuff or icy weather around, and now it's getting more to summer, so the scene doesn't quite fit anymore, the weather outside. It's fine, I am determined to finish it, like I said, and I hope you'll enjoy watching me finish this Paint by Numbers. And thank you all very much for your support and really kind comments over the last weeks. And see you all on Sunday. Bye!